clear it? Automated weather observation. One, five, zero, niner. Zulu weather. Wind. One, eight, zero, at one, three. Visibility. All right. Well, we'll just do a normal takeoff, maybe fly out and come back in. And... All right, cool. Um, we kind of did a, a, a soft field takeoff last time, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. That was, it was so fast. I didn't expect that. Well, I mean, any takeoff is going to be very fast to this airplane because it is, you know, I'm only 800 pounds versus, let's say, a Cessna 14, 1500 pounds. That's right. So, yeah. And I've got more horsepower than a Cessna, so, yeah. <laughs> more horsepower, less weight. So we're here on day two of the runner workshop. Uh, get to take uh, take you up for a second flight. To see what you think again. You're almost finished with your rudder. Hey, Mexico traffic. Turbo 70 Zulu Whiskey is going to be back taxiing for 1A Mexico. I'm pumped. Um, so what do you think of the rudder workshop so far? I'm I'm very glad that I've come. Um, oh, great. I feel like I've learned so much. Uh, okay. Both about, I, I mean, about Zenith and about building airplanes, and right. uh, yeah, and it's just, and it's been a very fun and uh, very fun opportunity. Well, it's neat to have uh, young young gentlemen like you guys uh, here at the workshop. Uh, you know, 19, 20 years old uh, building airplanes. Uh, you know, that's my, not my norm for sure. <laughs> And we've got the 350i, which is UL power engine, 118 horse. I've got a Cinchnik ground adjustable prop. I've got the Dynon system, and I've got the center stick. Customers always ask, uh, dual stick or center stick? I like the center stick. It's easy to get in and out. Never interferes with the customer. And just, just I think, just more easy to adapt, in my opinion. If you want the dual stick, it'll take you about a day to switch over to the dual stick. So it's always, always possible. We're going to do a run-up. It's got uh, redundant on uh, the ignition. We're going to run it up, check the right system, back to both, check the left, both, controls clear and free. Going to check uh, the flaps, lower the flaps a little bit, check, check that, and then check up our backup fuel pump, running good. Everything's temperature's good because I've been flying earlier with it. Fuel's on the correct side, correct quantity. Hey, New Mexico traffic, Barrel 750 Zulu Whiskey is going to be departing runway 18. We'll be a look of flight to the south of Mexico. I also noticed you didn't go full power on the takeoff. No, and, and you went like you went like a uh, like half power or something. Yeah, like that. because you know, as you know, it doesn't take much to to take off, and yeah, uh, not like a Cessna where you got to add full power just to get 50 miles an hour. <laughs> I guess so. Ease in the power, and when I get the nose up, then I start easing, put in the rest of the power. Now I've got full power now. And today's a little better performance, I can tell, because my density altitude is only about 2,000. Yesterday it was about 3,100. Oh, yeah. So, Big huge difference. difference. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty crazy. And we got a bird there. There we go. And I like to climb where I can see over the nose because of birds. Uh -huh. And we're climbing right now at uh, about 80% power. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll just head out here, and, and uh, you're building the uh, the 750 Cruiser because you have a program. You want to start uh, young kids like yourself building airplanes, correct? Correct. And it's a non-profit organization that you, what's the name of it? Aero Princeton. Aero Princeton, okay. 
Yeah, we're looking to um, bring aviation to college students. Um, we feel like there's, there's a real need to, to have that hands-on experience. And right. We really wanted to fill it with something that's uh, a really cool cool experience. Exactly, and you know, you guys who recognize you, and your mechanical engineers are going in to be engineers, and a lot of engineers just don't have the hands-on. And, uh, you know, that's part of it, you know, having the hands-on, you know, being an engineer in, aer in aerospace or whatever is, uh, you know, if you become a pilot or a mechanic, you'll be an excellent uh, engineer because you'll understand all the fundamentals of the, the whole uh, aircraft. That's the goal. Yeah. Yeah, you got, sometimes you got to look outside the box, you know. <laughs> all right. Let me do a turn here. Excellent view and a turn. Very little control input to do a 45 degree bank turn. Yeah, that's what I, was, I noticed the other day. I I didn't realize how yeah, it's just so responsive. Yeah, roll out on the turn, do one the other way. And um, I wasn't sure about the bubble doors, but I think I think after this flight, I'm kind of sold on that. Oh yeah, it gives you a lot of visibility, the elbow room. All right, go ahead, go ahead and fly it, go ahead. All right, thank you. Uh, my controls? Yeah, your controls. You're a pilot, so... Yeah, head over in this nice open area. Tell everybody hi on the, in the world. <laughs> How do you think it feels compared to a Cessna? A lot lighter? Very more maneuverable? Uh, a lot lighter. Go ahead much, turn my way. Yeah. Lower the nose a little bit in the turn. There you go. Very perfect. Yeah, there you go. Lower the nose a little bit. Yeah, you're used to a Cessna where you'd have to really pull the nose up. And yeah. This aircraft, you almost lower the nose a little bit in a turn. Otherwise, you'll really start climbing. Yeah, it holds its altitude very well. Yeah, and what I like to show customers, let me have it for one second, Controls. is uh, when you when you start flying a light airplane uh -huh. uh, that's very sensitive, and it's not very sensitive, it's just it flies hands off, but you're just not used to it, is to put your your arm in the V uh -huh. or in the Y, and then just fly it. Then you don't over control it because I noticed you were just a little. Try that. Put your arm like that. Now fly in a turn. And you won't be so jumpy, except for the bumps. <laughs> yeah. And now I'll go back that way. All right, now you can hold the stick. There you go. And it does make a nice cross-country aircraft. You know, you're cutting the time in half from driving. Yeah. And it's surprisingly comfortable in here too. It is. It is. It's, I figured uh, it'd be like a, you know, just, just a metal little box. But right. The seats are adjustable, and you could develop, you know, make the seat back adjustable. But then there's just more, uh, more chance of things not working. Yeah. And it's not really necessary. No. Go ahead, turn that way. Nice little thermal there. And I typically like, you know, fly between a thousand and three thousand feet. Uh, mainly is I like just to see everything and uh -huh. uh, sight see. Get up too high, you just can't see anything. It feels like you're not even moving. That's true. Even if I'm going slower, I still prefer it just uh, unless you're traveling a long, long way, it really doesn't make much difference. All right, let me have it. We'll head back and we'll do a nice landing. Nice. And landing didn't seem too hard yesterday, so no. just uh, pretty pretty easy to control it on the landing. Right, it is. Just I guess minimal controls, minimal. Uh -huh. you know. Mexico Jet Expo Sensitive Zulu Whiskey is going to be entering left island for runway one eight Mexico. All right, looks good.
on the downwind and uh, being the numbers, then I'll bring the, the power back, lead off the airspeed, start applying a little bit of flaps and start my descent. Thanks. Mexico traffic, Spamo 750 Zulu Whiskey is turning left base for 1A Mexico. Go traffic, spray most 750 Zulu Whiskey is turning final 1 8. Alright. What's the smallest runway you've ever been into? Shortest? Um, I'm not sure the length, but it was. It was probably something like this, okay. but it was like a nice grass strip. It might have been shorter, actually. Okay, grass is hard to land sometimes because the, you don't have a depth perception. It's true. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, I did a, like a low pass before. It was That's my good. first landing after getting my pilot's license. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's the best for, best one to do, but. Well, you did good, you know, doing a, a flyby. Yeah. And checking out the conditions and feel if you feel comfortable. And we'll lower the rest of the flaps. Yeah, I can feel the buoyancy without very much flaps, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little aircraft, you do get the little thermals a little bit. And you can slip it if you want, but uh, you just bring back power and just wait, You'll, it'll come down. Get lined up here on the center line. There's a little, Caution. there was a little uh, sink right there. There we go, get lined up right there. There's a little thermal, woo! <laughs> there we go, look at that. Nice. Yeah, well I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, certainly. Continue on for sure. Thanks for the flight. Yep, you're welcome.